Okay, so there seems to be some sort of quest or something going on over here, because, yep. There's uh, somebody talking to the dogs, I guess. talk to this little girl. The little dog laughed to see such fun, and the dish ran away with the spoon. Wolf? Someone's singing here. Should we say hello? Hello. Should Paimon speak louder? Hello? Oh. Meow, meow, meow. Wolf, wolf. Okay, alright, I got it. Greetings, friends from afar. Welcome to our party. Please take a seat. Hmm, she looks very shy. Did we startle her? Let's be careful when we speak. Yeah, Paimon got you. We'll take a... Wait, Paimon's not seeing any seats. Woof, woof. Meow, 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 meow. Oh, it's okay. Nana is not... It's not necessary. Mr. Quagiano is right. We don't need to follow any awful rules. We just need cookies and bones. Woof, 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 woof. Arf! Are you talking to the puppy? No, not a puppy. This is Lady Nana. Anyway, that's it for the pre meal speech. Time to raise a toast. Let's raise a glass in our minds. Always flexible no matter how weird the situation is, huh? In that case, let's raise a glass in our heads. To all the gears, muskets, and math books. Meow. Woof. I'm gonna go with meow. Should I have a meow or woof along? Fine. Woof. Woof, 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 woof. Wait, did Paimon woof wrong? This hasn't felt right since the start. Can someone translate their woofs and meows, please? Meow, meow, meow. Sorry, you're right. As the party host, that was my neg negligence. I should have introduced myself first. Penny is my name. The furry gentleman with the black hat here is Don Quagiano, a swashbuckler. Meow. And this is Nana, a particularly elegant and very considerate lady. Yip, yip, woof, 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 woof. Thanks for saying that, sweetheart. Pleased to meet you. Can't say I've never seen things like this before, but still. Why are you mumbling? It's our turn to introduce ourselves. This child seems to be talking to imaginary animal friends. Shouldn't we roll with it? No, Lady Nana and Mr. Quajano are not imaginary, and they can speak. Oops, she heard us. May I tell them a little bit about you, Lady Nana? Just a little? Or they won't understand what you're saying, or what you'll say. Woof. Okay, Lady Nana is from the Court of Fontaine. She has a nice surname. La... Mm. I won't bring that up then. Good Nana. Sorry to hurt your feelings. I'll just mention the happy part. Nana's best pal is the purple-eyed Autumn. Miss Autumn is a genuine lady. She changed Nana's outfit many times a day. Nana wore a different dress to sleep, meals, afternoon teas, balls, walks, and even dates with different accessories. Then the purple-eyed Autumn left home. Nana wandered where, or here, wandered here with her and became friends with us. Now, would you mind, Mr. Quajano? Quajana? Meow, meow. Okay, I'll also tell him a little bit about you. Sorry, Mr. Quajano is still wanted by the Mason Gaston to this day, so I can't say much at all. For your own good, of course. Years ago, when Mr. Quajano was advertising with adventuring with his buddies. Oh, that would be Rouge and the blind man Freeman. They were pursued by hired hitmen to Poisson. They ran out of 
ran out of everything except the three goons on their tail. That was when Mr. Quajo charged in and saved them. What was it that you said at the time, Mr. Quajano? Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Right. He said, my fine friends, I love you with all my heart, but it's time to say goodbye. We'll meet again six feet under. He thought he'd never make it, so he lunged in alone and drove all three bad guys away. Wow. Then he must be a master of the sword. He, <laughs> you, you believe it now, don't you? Rouge once said that you have to use your head, not your ears, to truly get what others are saying. If you still don't get it, just close your eyes and listen to in, with your head. The girls' words are full of fantasies, but you don't think it would hurt to go with the flow. Keep your eyes closed a bit longer. If you're bored, I'll sing a song for you. Mr. Quajo and Lady Nana off to sing it along with me. Hey, diddle, diddle. The cat and the fiddle, the fish jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such fun, and the dish ran away with the spoon. No wonder they're so close to each other. What would they say? You meditate on that for a while. Um, Traveler, Pema's not feeling any different, but should we try to speak with the cat and the dog? Meow, 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 meow. What are you saying? He's not stupid. Don't talk bad about Traveler. You understood that, Paimon? Yeah, it just came to Paimon without any effort. That's probably because you're practically a child. What? Are you calling Paimon immature? It's because she listens from the heart. I can understand now. Hello. Friends from afar. How did you know we came from afar? From far away? Can you not only speak but tell the future just like Mona can? Or Mona too? Friends from afar is a common greeting. Friends from afar. Oh. So everything Penny said is true. I did used to live in the court of Fontaine. Such wonderful memories. I suppose... My old friends are still mingling regularly at the Hotel de Bord. <laughs> I would often accompany Autumn to such soirees at the hotel, and oh, how we danced. We wouldn't stop dancing, not even when the bar band grew tired. Whether or not you believe me, it is little more than a memory for me now. For now, Autumn has found her calling, and I have found mine. I wish only for her happiness from the bottom of my heart. And Roos has accepted me, as in the end, I stay here by choice. She's fully immersed in her memory, huh? Rouge, Penny mentioned that name. Who is he? He is a graceful gentleman. And he is Penny's guardian, as well as our friend. Very fun to be with. Adept at archery and knows a thing or two about swords. An outstanding young man. Don't dabble in dangerous deeds, Quijano. Or you'll get yourself killed. Worry not, Nana. A gremlin once foretold that I shall not die so easily. The prophecy says that when at least I tire of adventuring, a respectable and adorable girl shall appear. And in her, I shall find my purpose for all my remaining days, and I shall de dedicate all that I have and am to ensuring she never comes to harm. That child is Penny, but how can I best protect her? Were I a knight and not a Swiss bachelor, I would know how. Alas, I am not. A knight? You have one right in front of you. Traveler is an honorary knight of the Knights of Favonius. Oh my, to think I should encounter a true knight. Pretty admirable. 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 Blech. Right? Then allow me one presumptuous request. I suppose we have the same idea. Heh. Although we're basically nothing... Basically nothing. We, the legendary adventure duo, Traveler and Paimon, can't do our time and it's quite valuable it carries a cost. What the hell kind of sentence is that? Why don't we figure out some charging plans when we have time? I'd be willing to pay all my jewels to hire a knight, so if you could, please become friends with Penny. Huh? Our dear Penny stands at a fork in the road. She knows not whether to grow up or remain a child. Her body is still growing, and she grows bigger by the day. She is growing mentally as well, and her gro heart grows more complicated by the day. What do a cat and dog know of such strange human things? But it should be easy for a knight. 
We need to find a knight to be Penny's friend. Perhaps then she can find the answer. You're very good to Penny. She's the best child in the world. No one loves her more than I do. Please be Penny's friend. I offer you all my necklaces and satin dresses. You have my word that I shall protect you with mine own life should the need arise. The gems from Liwa traders may be priceless, but Don Quanjo's promises are more precious still. How do I become her friend, then? You will? Pama wants to be little Penny's friend, too. My dear friends, here hence, you are friends from afar no longer. From the moment you asked that question, you became dear friends. This is wonderful, so wonderful. Let's tell Penny the good news. Penny, my dear, you shall have two new friends. The legendary adventurer duo Traveler and Paimon are willing to be your our friends. Really? Haha! <laughs> awesome! I have so many friends now. Let's have a ceremony to corroborate, corroborate this. Ceremony requires a speech, but alas, we lack the time to write a proper one. Don't worry, just keep it simple. Very well, then I shall take this I shall make this brief. Please come forward. This should do it. Ladies and judge me, I hereby declare Penny, friend to the children, Dong Fujo, the swashbuckler, and Lady Nana hereby welcome Paimon and Ah, just a moment. How should I introduce you to? You mean Paimon's title? You can call Paimon the best guide into that. And let's use Honorary Knight of the Knights of Favonius for him, though his other titles are awesome too. No, 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 that's not what Mr. Kronjo is asking. We need to know your who your friends are. Every one of us, cats and dogs, are bound together by bonds of friendship. A little bereft of friendship. Oh, such a life would be too horrible, so who are your friends? Paimon is my best friend. You are also Paimon's friend. <laughs> so you are a pair of good friends. Wonderful. I can see that Paimon is a truly great friend. Good. In the name of all the bearings, cakes, and storybooks, Penny, Paimon, and Traveler are good friends. Are now good friends. You shall share all your bones, biscuits, and picture books and say good night to each other before you go to sleep. Play in the mud together, scare birds together, and count stars together. Woohoo! Woohoo! Now, we're all friends. But wait, the two of you haven't met the children yet. Gosh, you almost forgot the children. Strange, I haven't seen them all day. The children are our friends, too. You should meet them. You're right. Please go meet the children. Let them know you are their new friends. They probably went somewhere far away to play. It's high time they returned. Go into the water and have a look. Don't worry, I'll go underwater. You needn't fret about the children not wanting to come back. I'll sing a song to send you along. The children will come back to sleep in their big shells when they hear my song. So head over to the big shell and wish them sweet dreams. The big shell? Okay, so over is this way. Let's get this real quick. Bubble, bubble, Penny is singing. Bubble, bubble. So the children Penny was talking about are fish. Hello there, we're Penny's new friends, Paimon and Traveler. Bubble, bubble, new friends, new friends, new friends. Bubble, bubble, sweet dreams, new friends. Sweet dreams. Well, they seem happy now that we've met them. Let's go to the next shell. Bubble, bubble, can't find. Bubble, bubble, can't find. 
Hello there. We're Penny's new friends. Paimon and Traveler. Bubble Bubble. New friends. Bubble Bubble. Old friends. Can't find. Bubble Bubble. Penny is singing. Bubble Bubble. Sleepy. They seem to have lost something. Strange. But we should be done here, so let's head over to the next shell first. There's nothing here. Where are the children? Huh? That's a Fatui insignia. The children are gone, and there's only a Fatui insignia left inside the shell. We have to tell Penny about this. We just met the children underwater. How did it go? Did you become pals? We're pals now. Penny, some of them went missing. We found this in their cradles. Traveler, if you would. This is a Fatui insignia. What? You probably don't know this, but the Fatui are a bunch of very, very bad guys. They might have kidnapped the children. But don't you worry. We'll help you, since we're friends now. Bad guys? Are you saying that Karek is a bad guy? Huh? Karek? Who or what is that? Karek often sings with Penny. I once recommended he try his luck at the opera at the case. He does have a nice voice. He would go underwater to play with the children as well. That's right, Karek is a swimmer most swift. I admire him greatly. So you mean there's a Fatui named Carrick who is Penny's friend and who left this mark behind? I think so. This belongs to Carrick. He's our pal. Really? Maybe we misunderstood. What are Fatui, anyway? A bunch of guys who th see things differently than most people. Some of the Fatui love to use others and do bad things. They've opposed us loads of times. So is Carrick very bad? Does he do a lot of dirty deeds? I came out with scoundrels from miles away, from a mile away, but Carrick had no, not the stench of ill will about him. But if our dear friends say he m may be such a person, oh, I understand. Perhaps Carrick was once bad, but has since turned over a new leaf. There is also that the possibility that he is both good and bad. Oh, you are quite correct. One can be both bad and good, just like a person can enjoy both dainty little cakes and raw seafood. Raw seafood. Ugh. Only the worst of the worst eat that kind of thing. Come now, Nana. Raw seafood isn't that bad. Wrong. I shall never touch the stuff. Okay. If Atui didn't kidnap the children, where did they go? Oh, don't worry. The little troublemakers often run off on their own. They'll be back soon enough. Penny, what's on your mind? Why are you zoning out? Good guys and bad guys. That sounds complicated. Like math. Like, what do we get when you add one guy and one bad guy together? Penny spreads her fingers and frowns in deep thought, but to no avail. She takes out math book and scribbles, again to no avail. Hmm, I can't figure this out. I haven't gotten to this part of math yet. I'll ask Autumn when she gets back. You must learn from an adult like Autumn, Penny. Adults know the answers to questions like this. We have returned to that old question once again. Does Penny want to grow up or not? Yes, this is the 36th time we've raised the issue. We have made a list of all the pros and cons of being an adult. Do you want the, Do you have the list, Quajano? Fret not, I have long since committed it to memory. Con 1. Adults cannot sleep on velvet cushions, for adults have hard and sturdy, are hard and sturdy creatures. They must sleep on boards of wood so that they can keep their minds and bodies hard. That's not true at all. It's awful not to be able to sleep on soft cushions. Con 2. 
Adults aren't allowed to catch butterflies, though I have not the slightest idea why. I know, I remember how Autumn grew up. It began when she stopped stepping in puddles as she passed. Then she refused to go barefoot after getting out of bed. She insisted on wearing her leather shoes. And finally asked her if she'd like to go catch butterflies together one day. She refused and picked up her textbooks and went into the study. That was the moment she grew up. I saw her become an adult, just like that. That is why I believe that being an adult means you cannot catch butterflies. Actually, not catching butterflies is fine. There are other pl plenty more fun things to do. Oh, but it's not just these, dear. All the those fun things, you must choose only one. You can't do math when you're busy eating cookies, and it's difficult to eat cake when you're holding a musket. That's rough. So I can't have other stuff like bearings, bows, and arrows, and pretty dresses all at the same time? No, dear, you can't. You can only choose one because humans only live once. Not to mention, Penny, that Quijano and I will no longer be able to keep you company. What? You can't grow up with me. How can I be without you? Who's going to lick my face when I wake up? Who's going to tell me bedtime stories? What am I supposed to do? My poor Penny, you know my purpose is to love and protect you. I, too, am sad that I cannot grow up with you. Oh, Paimon doesn't know why, but she feels like crying, too. Growing up is not necessarily a bad thing. Ladies, please do not weep. If I may be earnest, I cannot bear the sight of tears. If I could pierce that which makes you weep, I would draw my sword this instant. But I... Ah, I cannot bear it. I really can't. I've got to do something. Mr. Knight, let us think of a way to stem their tears. We... We... Perhaps we can bring the children back and let them sing with Penny and Nana. Surely that will make them happy. Yes, this is exactly what we should do. Come, come over here now. Let's figure out how to get it done. Dear friends, how do you feel about the idea? We just need to find the children and bring them back? Or this probably isn't going to solve the real problem. She still has to face growing pains, eventually. I know, I know. But since she cannot choose, can't we just let her grow up later? Her pain to grow up just like that. Who would scratch under my chin? Who would cuddle me at night as I sleep? No, no, let us give her more time. As Penny's dear friend, I must put a stop to her tears this very instant and make her smile. Lady Nana's purpose is to love Penny, and mine is to be Penny's knight. I must protect her from harm. Alas, I truly am a failure. To think that Penny is crying before my very eyes. If only I were a real knight. Out of curiosity, why do you want to be a knight so badly, Quijano? It is my calling, friends. Have you never been entrusted with such a noble cause? Rouge, a rogue, tasked me with this duty, and I took an oath to protect Penny. Duquanjo is one who keeps his word. Now, there is no more time to lose. You must take action now. Sure, Paimon doesn't want her friends to cry either. Count me in. Very well, then it is time to get up, children. Listen to me, children. Our Penny is facing an unprecedented emotional crisis. We must bring back all the missing troublemakers in order to restore her smile. Then we shall sing together for her and make her happy. That's what friends do, right? Yes, yes, yes! Honorable Traveler, Lady Paimon, this is embarrassing, but... I, do Quajano, or I Don Quajano, am well versed in both the sword and fairy tales, and I am an ingenious gentleman, but I fear I cannot swim. May I task you with the glorious mission of retrieving the troublemakers from underwater? Sure, it'll be a piece of cake. Yes. Children, help our new friend out here, and don't be naughty. Got it, got it, got it. Follow us, follow us, follow us. Shiny fish.
Oh, there they are. Wait for it to line back up.
Found it, found it, found it. Those little troublemakers are competing again. Whoever catches them wins. You mean the swarm of fast swimming bluefish are the children we need to bring back? Yes, yes, catch up to them and tell them. I caught you, I caught you, I caught you. Looks like Mr. Cat Hatter was right. They really are a bunch of mysterious kids. Alright, I'm gonna collect the drops. Okay. So I'm actually gonna leave a marker here and come back to this spot later. Oh wait, that's right. I actually have to make a waypoint. Do -do 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 -do. Drop. Alright, so I'll take care of that later. So that's gonna be it for now. This is the free verse questline. So that's gonna be it, and I'll see you guys later.